Well, Tramir beat Accrington Stanley 1 0 in their FA Cup first round replay at Prenton Park. They now visit League One rivals Peterborough in round two. Well, here's the best of the action. Your commentators are Ian Snowden and Steve Bauer. That's a nice little touch. Ian Moore. The woodwork saves Accrington Stanley from the manager's son. Lovely touch to his brother John Mullet. Fantastic save by Coy. Great link up play between the two brothers there. Blackington have gone in, in the 18 yard box. So a good free kick is needed. Jimmy Ryan to deliver all the way through. And only just wide. Charnock's forward. So too Griffiths. And it goes at pace. Tramley Rovers were very fortunate there. That is terrific. That's plenty of pace on him. He's in. There's plenty of bodies in the six yard box. He's just not in to pick anybody out. He's put it in there with plenty of pace. That's good play by Jennings. There's 4 4 for Tramley Rovers in this move. One of them is Chris Shuka here. What's he going to do? He's going to score the first goal. Chris Shuka's first ever goal in the FA Cup. He's injured himself in doing so. Good play by the midfield player Jennings and a good finish there by uh, Zuka. Just what the game needed. It is to be Tramet in the familiar territory. It'll be the third time in five seasons that they face Peterborough in the FA Cup. Green Acre. Good save by Arthur. He plays well. I thought we were a better team in the second half. Um, they had a good spell in the first half. And, um, but, you know, we limited them to a few chances, really. You know, they've hit the bar, um, they've scored, and late on, the lads turned and our keeper saved. That's the only save our keepers made. And the goals deflected over them. Um, for all the world, I thought our free kick was in, they the inside of the post, and they just don't normally come out at that angle when the ball's killing them, but that's life. Isn't it? You know, any team of mine will never make the numbers up. Whoever we play, we can play Man United or Real Madrid. We won't make the numbers up. But, um, no, it's disappointing because the goal we can see that could have been avoided. You know, it was a rush of blood. Um, a centre half run, run out of his position, and it was probably the only time he broke ranks tonight and we got punished for him. I don't think we deserve to win a game, and it's the first time this season really where, where I can say that. You know, we haven't played well from start to finish, um, and I think they'll probably think they're very unlucky that um, we're not into at least extra time and penalties. But you know, when you play scruffy the way we have today and we've won it, sometimes that's a little bit of luck that you need. We haven't had that all season, but I, I'm disappointed because you, you know, we're on the TV. And we'd like to show everybody how we can play, and, and, and that wasn't us, that's for sure. Four goals, two red cards, dull. It certainly wasn't at Prenton Park. Tranmere started explosively. Chris Shuka's deep cross volleyed home by striker Ian Moore, much to the delight of his dad, the Tranmere manager. Southend stormed back with an equaliser just two minutes later. A touch fortuitous, though, Kevin Betts' cross flicked home by Alex Ravel. In the second half, the entertainment factor was equally high as Tranmere retook the lead. Baz Savage started and finished a stunning solo effort. There was even time for some moonwalking. But Southend came back again. Hal Robson Carnu tried his luck from the edge of the box. Eventually, Kevin Betsy made it two apiece. There was still time for two late red cards as the game turned nasty. First South End had French striker Francis Laurent red carded the head butting Ryan Shotton with just 19 minutes left. Referee Craig Pawson did well to keep the warring parties apart. He gave Laurent a straight red card. Then 12 minutes later, Tranmere were down to 10 men as Steve Jennings made this rash challenge on Lee Sawyer. Jennings had earlier been booked. Referee Pawson dished out a second yellow as the game ended on a sour note. Yeovil are now three points above the drop zone following this victory over Tranmere, which came thanks to a training ground free kick 
He was stunned at home by Terry Skiverton and it brought the curtain down on the Glover's run of three straight defeats. Back-to-back -back league defeats means that Scunthorpe are now sixth and they conceded at Tranmere just before the break. A deft finish from the on-rushing address of Sonko made the foundations for their first league victory in five. The second was down to the determination of Ryan Shotton, who, having beaten Martin Wolford, squeezed the ball beyond Marcus Williams and former Tramier keeper Joe Murphy. It's his fourth goal since joining on loan from Stoke. A replay required for Peterborough, though, and it was goalkeeper Joe Lewis who emerged as their hero against Tranmere. The England under-21 international making a string of important saves as Posh failed to fire at the other end. It's the first time they've failed to score in eight games. Donovan Blake, Anglian News.